Nick, are you gonna hit this damn NFL rule change? Hell yeah, I'm gonna hit the NFL rule change. Well, go ahead, man. God damn, I thought we'd never get to this. The NFL, what are we doing here? The hip drop rule that we just put in place this week. Now, as a former defensive back who've been in multiple situations where I had just had to hop on a on an offensive player and hold on for their fucking life and bring them down any way I could. That's that's what the situation is, man. It's not like they're doing it to harm or hurt players. They're doing it because that's the only option that's available that's left when somebody is flying past me and, and that's the only way I could grasp them and bring them down. I got to throw my weight into it and just bring them down any way possible. Now, when it comes to these circumstances, it was over 215 hip drops last year, and I think 15 people were hurt. Were all of them serious? No. but they claim 15 people were hurt. That give us an alarming rate of what? 6%? 7% of the times that it happened. And for us to go into a whole big thing about it, when these people play football, like they signed up for it. Like as a kid, I signed up for anything that come with the game. I know I was playing a violent sport. I know I was going to get hit. I know I was going to get hurt. And and the best thing they did was take away people from getting hurt from the head because of all the lawsuits. Okay, I give them kudos for that one. But this one right here, when we're just taking football out of football, is the, the, the craziest thing ever. Like, there's things that's going to happen in, in the game of sport, and it's just it's unavoidable. And we just have to accept that. And for them to just, every day they're trying to, they're trying to get safety. And, I'm, and I have no problem with safety. But when you're, the game is a violent game. It's a violent sport. We're hit. We tackle. But we're trying to change it to a way where we want to reward the offense because they're not scoring the ball enough. So, hey, let's come up with different rules to stop the defense. We don't care if the defense get hurt. We don't care. You can run out there and, 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 and we're going to come up with all these different rules to slow you down and make you think. And, and the offense can play as fast as they want to and hit us and, and cut block us and, and crack back us and, and things of that nature. But when it comes to the defense, we don't give a damn. But we want to preach safety. But how are we going to preach safety in the league where we're trying to get 18 games? We went for 16 games. Now we're trying to get 17 games. And now we're trying to get 18 games. We go in the league where we preach safety where we say, hey, let's play a game on Sunday and come back and play on Thursday. But you don't even get a time to practice. You don't get a, you get a day off. You get another day off. You, you watch film, and then you're back out there with a walkthrough, and you got a game. And this is the lead that's telling me about safety. How are you going to tell us safety when well, you're, you're putting us in harm's way on every Thursday just for the, the dollars, the bucks? And then you're going to tell us on the defensive side to adapt. Sooner or later, we're going to be tackling between the navel and the panty line. And I say the panty line because obviously they, they think that we're women and they think that we can't take hits and things of that nature. And I obviously, and I'm thinking that, and I, and I, and I thought deeper about it. And it's because a lot of women have their kids playing in optimist leagues and things in that nature. And they're starting to pull their kids back from playing in the sports because of the safety part of the game. And so they're trying to stop it from up top to bring it down to the lower levels. So we can keep having kids playing so the game can go around for generations and generations to come. But I don't think this is the way you go about it. So there's, there's just so much other things that they can do that will fix the problem. What about turf fields? We have people playing on turf fields. You're rolling your ankle. I mean, you're tearing your, your ACLs, your MCLs, your Achilles, and things of that nature from playing on the turf. But this is the one rule that we thought that we could make. That would be the best thing for football? No way, man. What are we going to change next? What are we going to change next? What's next? Kickoff. They did. You know what? I don't have a problem with kickoff, Rudy. I don't have a problem with that rule. The reason I don't have a problem with that rule? Listen. Listen why. Listen why. It looked gimmicky at first and things of that nature. It looks really blah. But, Rudy, we weren't getting anything out of the kickoff game. Why not? 
because they're putting the ball up five yards and they had kickers who got stronger legs and they're putting the ball through the end zone every time. And now you can just do some shit like this. So why not? Like this. So why so, not? Why not have the kicker kick from the twenty? Rudy, the collisions are crazy. On that's on, what makes special teams fun. That will make I it played, fun. For, I played on special teams. That will make it fun I, for you to watch it. I love the collisions. And, well, they, first of all, they've removed the wedge. They've removed so many variations of, of Rudy, blocking. When you're that L1 or L2 and you've got to come down there and just run head first into that, so, to that outside blocker who's 280 pounds, who's just, man. And you're going, I, at, you're going at like 20 miles per hour. Again, we are it's removing vicious. hitting from football. You're, you you you've taken away the ability on defense. No, it's gonna it's, from it's, it's tackling def- someone from behind. So let me ask you: If you're a defensive player, how do you tackle someone from behind now? You I have don't. To get, you I have don't. To get so, your, you gotta get your balls on their ass. No, 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 no. Wrap no, them no. around the waist, literally, and hold them. Literally, Rudy, they want me to get dragged for twenty yards because there's it's no ridiculous. Way, there's no way without me dropping my weight to bring them down that I will bring them down. Right if now, it, Derek Henry would have me kick, carry from the fifty yard line all the way to the goal line. And possibly, if he want to, he could take me into the stands. Just because if he, I'm at I'm, I'm at his mercy, like there's no, no other way I'm gonna be able to bring him down. It's already he's already two fifty. I'm one hundred eighty. Or even if no no at that speed and that strength, even for a D tackle who's two eighty, who's getting ran by, who's on an old lineman and he sheds the block and he's going by him. Let, that's let the me only ask natural you a, way to bring him down. Let me ask you a question, Nick. Should they just give people touchdowns at the five yard line now? You might as well. Because the goal line, because goal line defense has just been eliminated. Because the only you way you can stop a running back from is going, from pulling them from behind on a hip drop tackle. And Otherwise, they will always score on a running drag back. You, you, They'll drag, drag your you ass the, in. The, the, the only way to stop a play from behind in on goal line is a hip drop. Is a so hip drop. basically, they're telling us that you shouldn't be behind anybody. No diddy. Because unless you grab them from their feet. No diddy. I, I mean, and haven't you seen guys get hurt when they get grabbed by their feet? And roll, Rudy. There's so much ways you get hurt in this it, league. It, it, it's like it's football. You get hurt. You, you, get, you get, get hurt. hurt. And I think we're trying to avoid it so this much is not different ways. And I'm I, okay. I, I'm okay with the headshots, mm. like because they got sued or so much ways. But you, you, you want you? Okay. I know. You, I know you. I know you're fine with that. That's why I watch MMA and boxing and, and, and bare no. knuckle because it's the only shit that you can't fuck up. Rugby is. You know, you mentioned this stuff on hitting. No, the no. lingerie women's football league hits they harder hit. than the NFL now. No, 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 exactly. But and with no pads, and the quarterback shouldn't throw your, your receiver across the middle. <laughs> if you don't want them to get hit, but they want scoring, Rudy. It's, it's all about scoring. Offense when you have, when you start having games on this kickoff return, because all you gotta do is break through once. You're Ooh, gone. You're gone. Touchdown. You're gone. You're, you, when you start having five kickoff returns for touchdown in a game, they're, they're gonna change it back. It's destroying the game. They'll change it back. They'll have to change it immediately. Yeah. In the season, they'll change it. Because you can't have five – put Tyreek Hill back as a kickoff return man. Rudy, I will put he, him back there. I would. Me too. I'm a Dolphin fan. Be- put him back as kickoff return. He hits the not, crack. You ain't catching that boy. I'm not He's worried gone. about him. I'm not worried about injuries so much for him getting hit so hard anymore because everybody's be engaged in five, five yards. yards apart. So they won't be co- it's like an, it's an offensive, an offensive and defensive you line. At, you won't be coming at my, one of my best players <clears> who's skilled and fast as hell at, the, at that speed to hit him and hurt him. So now I'm like, damn, the, the reward he better for be this? returning. They should put him and Jalen Waddle back there together. Yeah. So ever I mean, he most no, well, Devin a chain. Devin so, put put him and Tyreek Hill back so, there. So I think it helps though, because now all those kickoffs that was eight yards in the back of the end zone that they just threw up that little T sign for and they didn't return. We'll get some no, return. I, 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 I saw the rule. I saw the whole thing that they broke. I can't stand it. I think it's so, I think you just push them back to the twenty and and you should start doing what they do in Canada and give them a point. Or whatever, if you if you fair catch it, because um, mm-hmm. it goes to the kicking team, right? If you get a mm-hmm. fair catch it, yeah, give them a point. It incentivizes you to run the ball out. This whole crap where they've been fair catching balls at the ten yard line is outrageous. That never happened back in the day. It yeah. was always allowed. People mm-hmm. just never did it. For real, it's fucking, it's been dude. That fair catch has been no allowed way. forever. It's just no one ever did that because it's weak. Yeah, Who the hell like, doesn't return a kick that goes to the 10? I'm trying to take it to the house. What kind of punk are any, you that you don't return t- a kick that goes to the 10? Anytime you put the ball in my hands, I'm trying to score. Yeah. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. 
You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.